What's worth knowing in 3.5 and less than three and a half minutes? Let's go. Stygian and Nymph. Is pretty good. She's probably going to be the best physical damage dealer in the game, but that being said, she definitely needs DK or CH to really highlight her ability. And that being the case, she really does overlap with other Valkyries we already have invested. Skipping her isn't the end of the world, especially since they might release another Quantum type in the future. Who knows? She's a pretty solid pickup, though. Did I mention she also has an on demand time fracture, which means you can do this? Lightning, damage, Fuhua. Is okay. I. I don't hold think on, hold on, hold on. I had to interrupt myself because 3.6 introduces. Six does grief. Which is really going to change the way we look at the new VA. She's going to be a lot stronger, and I, I honestly do suggest you farm her. And yes, the video in the back, which is not played by me, is against Exalted Benares, which just goes to show how strong she is. Now, that being said, this is the first version of the 3.6 beta, so it is subject to change, but I would farm her just to be safe. So this happened, which might as well be nothing. There does happen to be a bug against Argent Knight, which makes her actual follow-up ignite. Now if that were the buff, it would be a huge buff, but we're left with a combo attack buff, which doesn't really change much. Speaking of which, the Trauma Gauge is a circle that you might see on bosses now. Basically the boss is immune to a certain status effect, like ignite, and the circle will fill when you try to ignite per tick as you can see here. When the circle fills all the way, you'll be able to inflict the status effect and there will be a huge damage increase for you. Yeah, this weapon is pretty strong. It's a divine key weapon, which means all your Valkyries will get plus 10 attack. And most likely, this weapon is only going to be available for a limited time and probably won't be coming back. So I'd suggest pulling for it when it comes out. The 11th fleet to Aegea. Is gonna make a lot of strats way more viable. 20% crit rate is no joke. And if you reset at all in competitive modes, you're gonna want this weapon pretty much immediately because it's gonna cut your reset time a lot. Granted, this is only really helpful if you have Celestial Him, which I hope you do by this point. The Positron Blaster. Is an amazing gun for Moonbeam and pretty much brings back Moonbeam DPS for any boss that can be paralyzed. If you don't have Kepler or Leapers, you kind of don't even need them anymore, which is pretty good. Overall, a good pickup like all the other pre-arms. QTE switch, now you can get rid of these abominations. Good change. Stepwise promotion, another good addition. So the base is renewed and pretty much everyone is going to get a lot more stats. And the way we're going to get those stats is basically to farm up every single Valkyrie to triple S rank. Memorial boss pools, this is a thing now. The bosses on the top are the only ones that can be rate up. Personally, I'm not a fan of this because I think that they will make things a lot more repetitive, but that's just me. Would you believe me if I told you this was exalted? 